Hello and welcome back to this museum. Now hopefully that's starting to sound just a little bit more normal coming from someone who isn't Tim whilst he's still away on his current USA tour. But as you can see, everything behind is all parked up safely on their SeaTech smart charger staying in the best of health. And today we're following on from the absolute madness we had in the previous video, changing the wheels on Brad's 124 above Spider and giving you a full walk around of that and getting a couple of cars out on the road. One of which being the McLaren 675 LT Spider to go out for a lunch run in what turned out to be very mixed conditions, but also to give Brad his first ever taste of the LT. And on top of that, we got out in the C63 AMG Black Series. Now, as you may have seen, the reason we took this one out, other than because it sounds phenomenal, was to head over to the guys at Whoops We'll Fix It to discuss with them a surprise wheel refurbishment for Tim whilst he's still away. Now, from factory, these wheels came as standard in the high sheen finish with the titanium grey paintwork, also known as Himalaya grey, which coincidentally enough was the same grey that was on the SLS Black Series before Tim resprayed that in Mystic Blue. The optional finish for the Black Series was to have them in matte black with the silver lip going around the edge, which is the finish we're going to be going for today. So next up, I think we're going to leave Brad to get the car jacked up and get the wheels off and then we'll head over to the guys at Whoops We'll Fix It and follow the process of changing these back to how they should be. So Brad has laid out all of his tools. It seems that all you do, mate, is come here and change wheels. It seems I've joined the team and become social man and the wheel change man. But I mean, having a museum mechanic isn't the worst thing in the world. It's definitely handy. We've got someone who knows what he's doing with a spanner because I've got no clue. Now, clearly, I think the SLS and the LT Given that we're going to be jacking up the C63 and leaving it on axle stands in order to take the wheels over to whoops, these two are probably a bit close for comfort. So I should probably hand you this. Thank you. And I think I'll get these out of the way, starting with the McLaren. I think we'll just move them straight forward so they're out of the way and we can put them straight back without worrying about getting them in the same place. So this one will be struggled. Nice tight gap. And as usual, as soon as it is museum, we get two cold starts. Starting with the LT. What a sound. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly suggest you do it. We take it out for lunch, we get a couple of pictures, and I give you guys my opinion on the McLaren 675 LT Spider. How good does that sound? It does sound pretty damn good, doesn't it? Now that's the 675 LT out of the way. I think it's time to move the SLS. Tom, will you do the honors? Of course. I think you probably want to head round the back for this yes, one. Yes, that's a good idea. This thing does sound glorious, especially on a cold start. And we may have actually done a very cheeky decibel test on this with a cold start. It's loud, coming soon. Wow. That sounds insane. I think this is very slowly becoming one of my favourite streamer builds. The colour, the sound, the way it looks, the doors obviously. Love this thing. Okay, so now time to get the wheels off the C63. Close that one up. Now Brad's going to get his jack in place. And we've spoken to an AMG technician on this one, I've been told the best thing to do is use the front jacking points of the car to lift up the entire side, yep. where you then put a axle stand, sorry, nearly said the wrong thing there, put an axle stand on the rear jacking point, yep. and then use the front engine jacking point yep. to lift up the front and then get the fronts underneath, so then we can get all four off. Should be nice and easy, hopefully. So here, Brad's just cracking the wheel nuts. I'm sure you guys all know the deal, but obviously once the car is up in the air, if you try and do that, the wheel's just gonna spin. So you have to get this done while it's still on the ground. Otherwise you'll end up putting it back down to get that one done again. So that's all of the wheel nuts for this side cracked. Let's get it up in the air, onto the axle stands, and we can start removing the wheels. That is both rears now on axle stands um, on the side seal jacking points. Very easy to spot on these. I'm surprised having never worked on a C63 or a W204 before. Very easy to find the jacking points, which is nice. 
Um, coming to the front, we've now put some ramps under the front wheels just to get a little bit more clearance for getting the jack under for the central jacking point, which we're now onto. Um, we've just got to pump it up a little bit more, pop the two stands on the front seals on either side, and then we can pop the wheels off and get them over to whoops. So let's crack on. Right, I'm happy with where the axle stands are now, so obviously we'll lower it the last bit and remove the jack. I mean, there is, of course, we can leave the jack here, um, but there's not necessarily a need. We're going to be supported on all four corners. Now what we need to just hope is that Tim doesn't log into the CCTV at any point and then give me a phone call and wonder why his C63 has no wheels on it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Do you know what we haven't mentioned? We haven't told them that they're going to get another cold start in this video because there is only one car for the job for taking these wheels and that's the G. I mean, I think we could always try and squeeze them into the GT8, right? Maybe if we strap one or two to the wing? I mean, it's had a Christmas tree there before, so... Christmas tree, a set of C63 Black Series wheels, a bit different, but... Okay, we'll take the G. The G will do. <laughs> so Brad is now removing the first of the wheels, and we're starting with the front passenger side for no real reason. It's funny, because obviously we're planning on refurbing these in, in the matte black with the silver lip, as you mentioned. They look matte black right now, because these wheels are filthy. I mean, they, they you can are, see yeah. there just with a gentle wipe, that is the colour they are currently. <laughs> meant to be. You can see it in a few other places, but in general, these things look matte black. Yeah, I mean, from a distance, they don't actually look that bad, but as you get closer and with the eye, yeah. they you, are you filthy. Really see. But it's quite cool, because it gives us a little bit of perspective of what we want them to look like, yeah. or how we want them to be, which is obviously back to their, to their OEM spec. Although we start to get a bit of an idea of how dirty the car is when we, you can see that patch there from quite a long way out. So this definitely needs a clean, which obviously I think we'll leave until once the wheels are back on and maybe cured for a little while just to make sure we don't damage the uh, fresh paint. Speaking of the wheels, this one is now ready to come off. So hopefully it's not too tightly on there, which it is. And there she is. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Not the worst thing. That is one ooh, very large C63 Black Series wheel off. We've got three more to go. So I think we crack on with them and then we will catch you guys when we're loading them into the G and ready to head over to whoops. All right, guys, that's it. The point of no return. The wheels are now off, piled up, ready to go in the back of the G wagon. So we're going to need to pull this forward so we can get those in the back. But I'm sure you guys have also noticed I'm currently wearing one of the new C63 designs available in the Cheers by Shami 150 shop. And we've also got a couple of different designs available. So make sure you guys have a look at the link in the description down below and check those out. Now so those are the front two loaded up into the back of the G. Brad's just grabbed one of the rears now. I'm just going to figure out how these are going to go in. I think we'll have to do one fully flat and the other slightly lean on top of it. But again, the G-Wagon is the ultimate workhorse, isn't it? It fits them in so well, like we saw with my wheels. Exactly the same with these. So yeah, perfect. That's it. We'll get the last one in and get these over to whoops, ready for their transformation. So this is the last time they will be seen in a very dirty gloss black. So as always seems to be the case on this channel, we're currently driving around the glorious M25. The clouds are definitely looming and there's been some spits of rain. Welcome to the UK. We're making progress, we're on the way to Whoops. So let's go and get these wheels dropped off and then follow along for the transformation. So I'm incredibly shocked to discover that after a considerable number of miles in this car, we've just discovered it has massage seats. I knew about the heated and cooled, but I did not know this. Um, Tim, I, I think I'm going to be spending quite a bit more time in this, even more than I already do. So I think it's time that we unload the wheels out the back of the G. We'll go inside, find the guys, and have a quick discussion about exactly what we're doing. So guys, we've made it here from Simon at Whoops, and he's just going to talk us through exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to go for the matte black option with the silver around the edge, but there was a couple of different options you gave us for how to do that. Yeah, basically, Tom, these wheels from factory are cut on the face and then they'll mask the silver and they'll keep the edge of the rim silver and then matte black the rest of it. Yeah. Now, that doesn't help refurbers 
because the AMG logo isn't so deep. So yeah. sometimes you end up cutting out the AMG logo. So we're going to replicate these with paint. Comes out really well. We're going to gloss black the wheel, mask out all of this, bury some black paint in the bottom of the AMG tag yeah. and replicate this in paint. That way, if you curb them again, we'll be able to do the same process. If you cut them, you wouldn't be able to cur curb them. And like what you were saying, if, if we were to cut them, not only would you not be able to refurb them again, but then we'd end up with quite a step and a, and, yep. and a, a visible lip between the silver and the black, which isn't there from the factory exactly. finish. Exactly. So to do them as OEM as can be, it's best to replicate this in paint. And it also gives you another chance to curb them again. That's absolutely perfect, guys. So we're going to get the tyres off and get these through the process and we're going to follow along. So let's see what they do. First stage is naturally to get the tyres off before the wheels are then going to be washed in an acid mix before they're going to head into the tank where Simon's going to explain exactly what's going to happen from that point onwards. So we're now at the next stage with the wheels in this tank. Simon, what is going on? Because I haven't got a clue here. Right, so this is an alkaline hot strip tank. It's not an acid. So it's very delicate on magnesium wheels, supercars wheels. Um, it, it strips wheels really safely. Um, first thing we do is take the wheel weights off and all the rubbers. Yep. Uh, get rid of any contaminants around the rim. And then they'll go down there. Usually it takes about two, three hours to strip a set. But because it's the end of the day, we're going to leave these in overnight. And by the morning, they'll look like this. So we end up with something that's fully stripped back to effectively bare. Bare metal ready for the coating stage. And then, so next they'll be coated off. Yes. Awesome no. stuff. So we will be back tomorrow to come and check in on the process. You guys will be back with us in a few seconds. So let's jump to it. Good morning, guys. Obviously, it's been a whole night for us. It's been a few seconds for you, but we're here this morning with Simon again. Morning, How Tom. How you doing? And now is the moment of truth. Yeah, so the wheels have been in here overnight. 100% they're going to be stripped, so we're just going to lift the, lift the tank up and get them out, start coating. We'll get them out, clean them off, and then on to the rest of the process. That's it. Right, so these are the wheels all stripped. That's all the solution still on the alloys. What we're going to do now, we're just going to jet hose all of that off to reveal the naked alloy, basically. Okay, so where the wheel's been in the bottom of the tank, this part of the wheel's been sitting in the sludge, which doesn't get the solution so easily. So what we do is, we put it in the water blaster, and we just blast it off manually. That's most of it off, and the rest will take off by hand. So we're now here, the wheel has finally been pretty much fully stripped and prepared. And now we're putting it into this big contraption. What, what is this exactly? Yeah, so what this machine's going to do is basically key up the metal. So at the moment, the metal's quite smooth. What this machine does is it will spin the wheel around and it will bombard the wheel with tiny little metal shot, which will create a texture on the surface of the metal. Okay. And that will allow the powder to sit into the wheel and grip and be strong. So okay. it's a durable... Um, coating. Okay, and that's how long do these stay in here for? Uh, that'll be blasted three minutes on that side and then we'll flip it over and do another three minutes on the other side. Awesome stuff, and then it's off to the powder coating process. Yes, and then it's ready for coating. Awesome stuff. Okay, so we'll fire this up. That's the wheel spinning. And then we'll shut the door, set it for three minutes. Lock the door, start, that's the process started. Okay, so that will come out there shortly. Yeah. Ready for the powder go. Right, so Tom, that's had its three minutes now. Yeah. If I open the door, you can see the surface of the metal has now become textured, which allows the powder to grip, so we get a nice strong bond on our first coat. Okay. So we flip that over now. Shut the door. Give it another three minutes and then that's ready to go to the powder plant. Perfect, so that'll be the same on the other three. 
and yep. then we'll get them in and start the colour change. We will. Very Let's exciting. All right, so we're here now. The wheels have come out the shop blasting machine and we've yep. now got them on this conveyor belt, do we call it? It's a conveyor belt powder co plant. So yep. the wheels get put on the track. The track's charge positive, the guns are negative, and the powder will attract to the wheel using positive and negative. Okay. Um, the wheels are going to shoot through the tunnel. Yeah. They're going to heat to about 230 degrees. Okay, quite warm then. Yep. And then we're going to lay the primer down. That's going to flow directly onto the wheel. Yep. And then it's going to come round and we're going to lay down the silver. Okay. So, yeah. About 20 minutes time, we'll get Tony to lay the powder down on the primer. Perfect. So not long to wait now until we see these looking as they should be, really. Yep. Perfect. Very well, soon. Wait. Right, Tom, so the wheels have come out now, 230 degrees. We've just got Tony in there laying down the primer. Uh, so when the primer lands on the wheel, it's so hot, it's going to flow flat. Yep. These are two we've just done. You can see how the primer's laid nice and smooth. Yeah, you can't see any of the golf ball effects, I guess we could yeah. call it. From the texture that the shop blaster made, that's yep. all filled in by the primer. Um, and then we're going to lay down the silver along the rim. That's going to run through another bake, and then yep. we're going to do all our mask work, and then it's going to go get lacquered, and job done. Awesome stuff, it's and that's going to be obviously a satin or matte lacquer yeah. to replicate that OEM finish that you guys can do. Yeah, right at the end we'll do a gloss delete, so the wheel will be glossy, so you get to see what it would look like glossy, yeah. and then we're going to gloss delete it with the satin. Absolutely perfect. Well, it's not going to be much longer until we get to see it, and I'm very, very, very much looking forward to it. Okay, so the primer's been laid down now, super flat. Then we're gonna, then we lay down this chrome layer, which simulates the diamond cut finish. And like I said, we're doing this all with paint. So this is gonna now bake, and then we're gonna do our mask work and recreate that OEM finish so that we don't have the step that the lathe would cause if we cut it. Okay, so that's all the chrome laid now. Kind of looks good with a blended pattern here but what we're going to do next is we're going to preheat it again make sure that's fully cured so that it can accept tape um, do all the fine line taping base coat black the wheel and then it's baked again and then we start lacquering okay so while, while those are baking I thought I'd just show you the lathe this is a diamond cut lathe this is what makes that front face nice and shiny so a diamond cut finish the wheel will start fully grey like this and the point of it is to machine the paint all off the front face there so you get that two-tone finish. So we're now at the next stage of the process. Tony is just laying down the fine lining tape around the edge of the wheels as you can see. So once the next layer of black has gone on, that will eventually come off revealing the silver outer lip. Right, so now we've got the wheels all in base coat, the tape's down at the moment, uh, protecting the silver. And this is the bit where we take the tape off. There you have it. So that's now going to go in for lacquer, so we can protect the chrome. Then we're going to base coat the AMG tag and wear that away lightly so that we keep the paint at the bottom of the AMG tag. Okay, so the wheel's now lacquered. This is a powder acrylic lacquer, which Tony's laying over there through the tunnel. The, the lacquer basically will land on white and as it gets heated, it will flow all clear and just bond to the wheel. So now we're at the next stage of the process, which is to fill in the AMG logo on the wheels. In order to do this, Tony's masked them up and now he's spraying in the black by hand. Once this is done, the masking is removed and the finish is then sanded by hand to give us, if we have a look over here, the finished result. That's now going to go back inside where it's going to get its satin lacquer to give it the finish we're after. So that is it, we are done. All stages are now finished. Simon, these are looking absolutely phenomenal in the finish they always should have had. They look good, don't they? They do, they look stunning. And thank you so much for allowing us to come down, follow the process and for getting this done for us. It's been and a pleasure, mate. 
I mean, I'm sure a lot of guys are there sitting there going, how can Tim really not know about this? But you've worked with Tim before, you know, yeah. he really is unaware of this. No idea, he's gonna have a nice surprise. Um, it's been a pleasure, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been, um, it's been stunning. And, and there's so much more that goes into this than I would have ever imagined. You kind of just think it's strip the paint, repaint them, maybe cut some off and job done, but it's so much more in depth. There's, it, it, there's so much more to it. Yeah, it's total remanufacture. You know, replicated the OEM finish with paint, so no step between the silver and the black. And you can also curb these again, and we can redo the finish, you know, with a void cut in the wheel, so. So if there are any whoops moments, excuse the pun, exactly. we're safe on these. So next stage, guys are gonna let these cool overnight, tires are gonna be back on tomorrow, and then we're gonna come back with the G-Wagon, get them back to this museum, and get them on, ready for Tim to see them. So we are back, just arriving at Whoops for the final time to collect these wheels. Tires on, they've now been left overnight to set. It's time to go back and get them on the car. But first of all, let's jump in, say hello to the guys, and we'll get the G-Wagon loaded up. So that's it, we are here with the final product. Simon, they are looking amazing. Thank you, we're really pleased with them. I think they're gonna look phenomenal on the car. Thank you so much once again for your hospitality the last few days whilst we've been doing this process. I know we've just thrown it on you a bit last minute, but yeah. you guys have, uh, have come through. And considering, again, we've done this with paint and we didn't go with the, the diamond cut option, I, I don't really think you'd ever know. No. It's as close to OEM as can be with paint and keeping the depth of the AMG logo. So a lot of these get that cut out when they do a cut repair so which as you've said not doing that does give us the benefit if anything did happen to them we can always go in and do that cut exactly if we needed to yeah so that's it guys we're going to get these back to this museum get them on the c63 and hopefully give tim a good surprise So we have made it back to this museum with the g-class we've got the last two wheels just here waiting to come out and if we come on over here towards the C-Class, we have Brad currently fitting them. Okay, so if we come over, do ignore the mop and bucket we've got going on in the bag, we've just got the wheel bolts in there. But we now have two of them on, and they are looking fantastic. Brad, how's it looking from where you are? Very close, They're very close up to me. Um, but the, I mean, the finish of the wheels has come out great. The matte black with the, the nice silver lip the OEM finish that, that we wanted against the diamond white paint looks amazing. It really does look proper and exactly how it should be. I really agree. I think they look phenomenal. And the great thing is you mentioning the diamond white. Obviously, we're very undecided what we're doing with this car in terms of color, whether it's staying diamond white and we just repair the paint defects that it does have. Yep. Obviously, it was a used car. It's got some miles on it. Or do we change the color seeing there's, there's so much paint work needing doing anyway? Lots of options. Lots, Lots of, of options. options. But I think next up on the list of returning this back is probably going to be getting some chrome back on it, such as the Mercedes Star and a few other bits and pieces. Although <laughs> maybe that one we probably should leave for Tim to decide what the next modification is, seeing as we've kind of taken this one away from him. Yes, 100%. We've taken this into our own hands. We've done a good job. The guys at Whoops have done a good job. We couldn't have done it without them, obviously. And no, they have been absolutely legendary. We literally, as you guys saw in the previous video, we turned up with this car, hijacked them with the idea, and they have been super helpful in getting these done. Yeah. Such a speedy turnaround. They've smashed it out for us, so we cannot thank them enough. But I guess now it's get the other side done, drop it back onto the ground, and then it's ready to surprise Tim in a couple of days when he lands back from the US. That sounds like an absolute plan. Let's crack on, we'll get the other two on get this back on the ground and we'll show you guys what it looks like in all its glory. That's it, we're done. All four wheels are on, the car's back on the ground. You guys have obviously had a quick glimpse whilst Brad was fitting them, but let's come around and take a look at them in all of their glory on the car, looking absolutely stunning. Back to how they should be in that OEM matte black finish with the lip going around the outer edge, the AMG logo finished in black. They are looking phenomenal. Just want to say a huge thank you once again to Simon, Tony, Adam, all of the guys down at Whoops. They have been absolutely phenomenal turning these around on such short notice, even moving into their office for a period of time while we needed to do a few bits. 
cannot thank them enough. They have made this possible. So the next thing is to jump in the car in a couple of days time, head towards the airport and go and get Tim from his US trip and see what he says. Now you join us a couple of days later in the C63 Black Series going around the good old M25 on our way to collect him from the airport as he's returning from the USA. Now, in the previous video, we said to you guys how when you find out about our plans to change these wheels back to their OEM finish is when Tim would find out as well. And truth be told, he would have found out about an hour or so before as he would have watched it just before the video went live. But we've managed to prevent him watching the video and he's not going to see it until pretty much it does go live. So when we turn up at the airport in the C63, the reaction is going to be genuine. That will be his first time seeing the wheels on the car. Now, is he gonna notice? Is he gonna be too jet lagged after a nearly nine hour flight to even spot the difference? Will he just get straight in the car? We're on our way. We're gonna be there in about 15 minutes or so. So let's find out. So, I'm away, there's a camera rolling. I have a bit, I have a bit of a confession to make. Yeah. So I've decided to do something <laughs> and I'm hoping you appreciate it and it's so do we want to squeeze in not the, something in the sea. we took away from you. We're squeezing in the sea. Have you changed something on it? I might have done. The wheels have a silver lip back on them. They do. I spotted that quite quickly. They have been fully refurbished by the guys at Whoops. We hijacked them the other done. day and said we want to surprise you and well this is the result. They were full gloss black. They were indeed. They are now back to their OEM matte black with the silver lip. I think it should be on this one. So we hope we haven't taken a video away from you. No, 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 it's cool. It's and we hope it's a nice surprise. I'm pleased that I actually spotted it, given I've just had a night on a plane with about three hours sleep. <laughs> we did just say after a nearly nine hour flight, it might not be something you even noticed. But Having had the day and the humidity of Miami yesterday. Yes. But, um, oh, that's good. but we've got more to do, because now we've got to do the whole paint and we've got to do everything else. We've got more right, to straight do. straight back to it, guys. This, back is, to it. this is stage one of C63 Black Series returning to how it should be. You've got a good parking space for the occasion as well. We did, we did. Right, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get you loaded up and get you back home. We are back at the Schmuseum and you are back. It's Yeah, it's good to be back and it's good to see this. Honestly, obviously we talked about it quite a few times about yes doing this and making it back in some ways to standard. And there are so many things when we did the garage update, walking through all of the cars, where we were saying what we want to do with the C63 Black Series. And I think, you know, I've, I've gone backwards and forwards a lot on this yeah. with the AMGs before we've even met. In fact, just quickly on the GTR Roadster with the wheels that this car has, we've got the massive silver lip. And I am not the biggest fan of these. In fact, on my original GTR, I got rid of it because it's too much silver. But there's something about the small lip that this has that basically just works. It just looks so right, doesn't it? It, it fits. I don't know. It's, it's that era. It's that style. It's such an iconic Mercedes car. W204s, C63 wheels. Yeah. I also massively prefer them in the satin black than in gloss black. Yes, it looks a lot Sm better. Small um, but significant. Yeah, and, I, and it looks so much better now having the AMG logo there, which was yeah. previously lost with obviously the the previous job that was done on them. So I know I have a bit of a flip-flop backwards and forwards with the wheels on the cars because the SLS ones are fully silver. Yes. The GTRs ones were fully black. Those ones have the big silver lip. These ones have the small silver lip. And you wasn't really a fan of the ones on the Pro either, were you, at the, you know, initially? I, I got used to those in the grey with the silver. Yeah. A little bit strange with the two-tone silver grey. But no, this looks awesome. This is absolutely brilliant. Something we needed to do, so a nice, very welcome surprise, even if I was in a bit of a daze coming straight <laughs> off an aeroplane. Yeah, a... sorry to do that to you, but uh, I think it was the best way to, no, to it do fun. it. I had absolutely no idea, and I had done a very poor job of realising when you told me that, the, or when I had known that the cars had been out for some mileage of working out what they might have actually been out to do. Yes. Yeah. Which that's... I'm quite glad about. Next time around, I don't think we'll <laughs> no. manage to get away with anything quite like this, but um, I'm glad we did this time. Next time, the eyes will be more on you. So a big thanks as well from me to the guys at Whoops. I know you spent a lot of time with them. Yep, they've been absolutely amazing throughout this. Like I say, we even took over their office at one stage <laughs> to, uh, to get some bits done and they couldn't have been any more helpful. So huge thank you to the guys down there. Brilliant. Well, first of many to come, or many changes, to come with this. Yes, I think we'll have to work out what's going to be next exactly, um, but it's going to happen fairly soon, I hope.